she shouldn't have posted because it is slightly misleading, but I see why she did. All right, well, let's move on to Erica Jane because she may not be yes. getting these infamous diamond earrings back just yet, despite scoring a legal victory in the case of its ownership. So a judge did rule in May that the trustee overseeing her estranged husband, Tom Girardi's estate, failed to show that the 750,000 diamonds were part of the um, a, a part of his estate's property, and therefore more evidence was needed before they could actually confiscate them from Erica. So a source exclusively told page six that the judge's decision does not mean that the earrings are immediately given back to her. So she took to Instagram recently saying that she gets to keep her earrings, even though the final decision is still pending. So Ronald Richards, who actually purchased the earrings for $250,000 at an auction, told page six that he believes that Erica is misleading the public. He said the court remanded the case for further proceedings as it had insufficient evidence before it to uphold the turnover order. This does not mean Erica automatically gets the earrings back or won the appeal. Her reposting of these claims is creating a false record and it's destructive towards the buyer of the earrings. There are consequences for imp impunging the title of the earrings that were lawfully purchased by the buyer. So. Basically, does Erica get the earrings back? <laughs> I mean, I think Erica and her earrings have given Bravo just, you know, a lifetime worth of material here. Um, you know, so this, I mean, this is so multi-layered, right? Um, I think, I think there's so much like clickbait out there, right? But yeah, Erica wins her appeal, and uh, sort of, you know, the, the, she didn't because she's still not in possession of those earrings, right? I mean, the judge did agree with her that the earrings should not have belonged to the uh, bankruptcy estate and therefore should not have been auctioned off. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they belong to her, right? And so uh, the court just basically sent the case back to the bankruptcy court saying, hey, you guys figure it out. Uh, what's going on here? What, what were the funds? The issue really here is, what funds purchased those earrings, right? So did they come from a client trust account? Did they come from the attorney's fees that were legally uh, belonging to uh, uh, Tom Girardi, right? And so there's still so much to be sorted out by the bankruptcy trustees and the bankruptcy court that, yes, yeah, she may have won the appeal, but the earrings don't necessarily belong to her yet. There's a lot of uh, forensic accounting that still needs to be done. Um, and so to kind of touch on the post, I think she's just in, you know, defense mode. I mean, the girl has been crucified in the court of public opinion. And I think that, you know, this was her way of maybe redeeming herself a little bit um, because we've seen an entire story arc mm -hmm. on the Housewives. We've seen her, you know, appear millions of times a day, right, uh, on news and TMZ and, and social media, you know, and people have been crucifying her. So this was, I think, a small victory. Mm -hmm. And um, I think she, 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 she shouldn't have posted because it is slightly misleading, but I see why she did. Right. So now, because now these earrings are in another owner's hand, will this owner now have to hand over those earrings? Will he have to forfeit the money? Um, will she have to buy them back? Like what kind of happens to these earrings now? Well, I think it's really gonna depend on what ultimately the bankruptcy court decides, mm -hmm. right? Because if they are able to, through forensic accounting, determine that the earrings rightfully belong to her and were properly purchased by you know uh, proper means and funds that actually belong to Tom Girardi, then the court is going to order likely that those earrings be turned over to her. Um, alternatively, I suppose they can um, uh, ask that a payment be made back. But my understanding is that these earrings are worth far more than the 250,000 that you know the um, uh, Ronald Richards paid for it. So even if that's the case where he has to pay the money back, that's that's only what he bought the earrings for at an auction. They're, my understanding is they're actually worth well over a million dollars now, mm -hmm. um, which is something she'd have to prove. So I think I think that the court is going to have to be really meticulous here. And um, if they do find that the earrings should go back to her, there's going to have to be an entire order about how to do so and to make sure that that both parties uh, are compensated accordingly. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub like and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.